What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we are going to make a procedural vegetation system. It's gonna be a very quick and easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to need to do is you need to go ahead and go to Ed and then Editor Preferences and we need to enable one thing. So if you actually search uh, procedural, uh, you will see here, general experimental foliage procedural foliage so make sure that you have that enabled so you just enable that you don't have to restart the editor or something like that uh, it will be straight ready to go so i have created a scene with just a simple landscape to show you and uh i have uh, prepared a folder here to put all the things that we need so the first thing that we are going to do is just right click here and we are going to go into foliage and you will see that when you when we have just enabled that you will see one thing and it's procedural foliage spawner so let's go ahead and create one uh i'm just gonna leave it like that the name and let's go ahead and open it we are not gonna have to change anything on here except for the last thing in here this is the seed etc but we don't really have to touch that so we'll just leave it like that now let's go ahead and just drag this one into the scene and you will see that we have like a box basically what is inside this box uh it will spawn trees so let's go ahead and scale it now this is uh fully up to you and of course uh the scale that he has uh in my case i'm just gonna make it pretty quick and uh big in order to fit a bit this uh, scene but you know so basically uh, resize this uh, until how you want in my case kind of for now like this it will be good so now let's go ahead and create the foliage that we need so first of all you will need to of course uh, import your trees or whatever into your product you can import them from the unreal marketplace or your own ones or whatever in my case i have uh, some from a demo of the marketplace of a build system so i have just imported them so let's go ahead and do it so just uh, what we have to do is create a new foliage static mesh uh, foliage let's go ahead and click this I'm just gonna uh, name it like that and go ahead and open and there's a lot of parameters in here so uh, you know just relax because I know there's a lot of parameters in the, on the screen but we don't have to touch every single of them and you know so uh, what we need to do is up here in the mesh if it's of course select our tree or whatever you want in my case like i said i have uh, some trees so i'm just gonna go ahead and click for example this tree there we go so i'm just gonna save this and leave everything by default okay i'm gonna go back into the uh procedural uh foliage spawner and on here on foliage types i'm gonna hit add and then i'm going to find uh the one that i did which in my case is this one then a new one so and then go ahead and save this go back into the scene and then uh we're going to select again our procedural uh foliage spawner and what we have to do is in here in details panel just scroll down until you see this which says resimulate so if you click this boom you can see a lot of trees just spawn in and um of course uh, there are too many we'll control that and of course they're appearing on a slope that we don't want in an angle so you see like for example these trees i mean in my case i don't want all uh, that to happen so i will you know control that and let's go ahead and control that so uh in order to control this we have to go into the static mesh of the tree so this will be individually and what i'm going to do is first of all go into the procedural section and in um, clustering okay in initial speed density first of all i'm going to put that in 0.5 so I'm gonna decrease it by half and then if I go back into the scene and resimulate again you can see that all the uh, trees have disappeared so that's pretty cool uh, so basically if you go ahead and change this parameter uh, the density will uh, increase or decrease now there's like uh, the distance the spread distance you can also uh, play with that but in my case I will leave that right now so let's go ahead and change the uh, angle that it will be uh, done so in here in align max uh, angle right now this is uh set to uh zero uh basically there's uh, if it's set to zero there's no um restrictions 
So for example, I'm literally gonna put a one here and then save, go back here, resimulate. And you can see now how uh, the angles, I mean, the, the trees are not uh, like going crazy in angles and literally like being hanging off of the cliff. So it's a bit better. I mean, let's go ahead and, you know, make it around maybe like 10. I know it's also cool to have some kind of angle here slope angle so yeah you know go ahead and play with that in my case i think that's pretty good now i think that you can do is go ahead here and in the height uh well we can set like a height uh max height for example if i said uh two and i have save and then go back and resimulate you can see how all the trees are disappearing because of course i mean uh it's two so let's go back here uh, 200 right 200 and you can see that some uh, trees are appearing in the in the lowered uh, you know surfaces uh, on here so we can play with that maybe you know put back into 500 and simulate and you can see that a lot of trees are appearing but not on the top of the cliff so yeah I mean, that's pretty much the basics of the uh, procedurals uh, system, you know, the brief explanation. I mean, now you can go ahead and create, uh, you can go here and then create a new foliage, uh, static mesh, and maybe let's go ahead and say it to be you know, grass. And go ahead and just find some cool grass. In my case, I think this one uh, was from Quixel, but I don't remember. And then uh, just go back into the procedural, procedural uh, foliage uh, system. And then just add a new uh, one. And then just, sorry, here. And then add the grass. And then we go back to uh, the scene. And then you can see that we have grass. There we go. Really cool. <laughs> Of course, uh, from the distance, they look bad, uh, very bad because they're like uh, billboards. So basically, they're only rendered from one side. But when we, I get, when we get close, you can see uh, how good it gets. So yeah, you can go ahead and play with that. Of course, you can add uh, multiple types of uh, trees, of grass, of plants. You can do a lot of things with that. So I'm gonna leave this show here. If you want to see uh, more Unreal Engine tutorials, please comment uh, below. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, bye bye.